the way how we so communicate the method of medium that we use to understand the appearances so so when we can give improvement changes so that's what i call taming the mind in theravada tradition they have bit different ideas on taming the mind and of course in for some such that type of met, method of theravada way of taming mind is also great so like Hmm. So, uh, Theravada methods can be very helpful to those who can see that that the movements of the emotions is. impossible to handle when they can understand that okay this is impossible to handle so for such there are other methods are very useful in the beginning because uh the because in mahayana in the bodhisattva vehicle so it has been understood as uh taming as transformation transformation while in theravada or shravaka tradition taming is been understood as the uh, season so sometimes even for us the method of therapy is very useful also sometimes uh, it's good to have some experience on also on that because sometimes when we see and understand that things are not too much so sometimes those methods are very good but generally speaking so what i understood as taming mind is giving improvement on communicating with the appearances improvement with the, communicating with the so of course vajrayana when we talk about the part of the vajrayana is known as the part of utilization so the the idea of the part of utilization is not about seizing or neither transforming so means the part of utilization means approaching as how things are 
means such manner of approachment should be free of hope and fear. Such manner has to be that way, from free of hope and fear. So, <clears throat> and and the reason, let me tell you, let me give you one reason why the Vajrayana is been able to perform this, what you call it, uh, this type of conduct of approach, approach, approachment free from hope and fear is that the Vajrayana is a, as an individual who has been able to view the entire appearances, phenomena, which includes samsara and nirvana both equally as designated phenomena, as a, as a designated. Such individual who has been able to have the insight of viewing all phenomena as designated dependent origin. So there's no hope on antidote or neither fear on what needs to be abandoned. means there's no hope on wisdom and neither fear on delusions.